All right, here we go. Welcome to the Real Press Start. This is your host, Crystal P. Jr. Crystal P. Jr. I am here with Chev Didge and G. Ro, aka G. Weezy, aka G. S, aka DJ Diamond Nuts, aka Mr. Guy from Sucker Dick, aka the Two Step McGillicuddy, <laughs> aka Baby Huey. <laughs> Are you all apt because you just got out of work? What was the one? There was a what was the one that Caboose always was blue guy always brought up. It was two step McGillicuddy. Two step McGillicuddy. No, there was another one. It was like a baby Huey. No, it was like I had a bunch. Yeah, it was like a oh something. Jiro Norrington. Oh yeah, that was mine. Captain Jiro Norrington. No, but he would always yeah, but then he would uh, always be like Esquire. I would say, like, I'd say Captain Jiro uh, Norrington, Esquire the third. Yeah, and he would always. I think it was like Doctor Captain. Oh yeah, Doctor Professor Captain Jiro yeah. Norrington. <laughs> He would go off on it, like he would just. All right, so yeah, um, yeah, Kingdom Hearts. What? Is, yeah, there's like there was like two or three trailers, right? Something like that. For what? Uh, Kingdom Hearts. Yeah, three. I think three. I think there was a general. Yeah, there's like Kingdom an overall where they're talking about like it's, a, it's, a, it's a, a Monsters Inc. trailer. Yeah. There was one more that I can't remember. I can't remember either. I think also he's using a summon. It's like the Little Mermaid. Um, the song. Everyone's like freaking out about the song and, and Monsters Inc. The song? Yeah. I haven't heard the song yet, but that's all I keep seeing is like oh, trailers. Do, 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 it's a, the Kingdom Hearts theme. Do, 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 the theme for Kingdom Hearts 3. Do, 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 you know, each one has like. Okay, what, okay what, yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. It was the Kingdom Hearts 3 theme song. Yeah. Trailer. Was it the one that goes, I wouldn't have nothing if I didn't have you? How'd you know? Because <laughs> it's the best Monsters in song. <laughs> um. No, the theme song is not the Monster Inc. song. It's a, yeah. It's a, oh, that's, it, people are talking about the, the the theme song that they chose for Kingdom Hearts 3. Yeah. That's what Sora and Goofy are going to look like in the Monster Inc. world. Sorry, that's cool. I like it. Yeah, I like it too. I mean, the, the, trailer that, the, the trailer I saw was in Japanese. I'm more... The stuff that I'm worried about is like the Star Wars... Like, is, is there going to be Star Wars? Yeah. Uh, I think they are... I think they confirmed that Marvel characters are going to be in there, right? Mm-hmm. So what's that going to look like? That's yeah. what I want. Yeah. It's getting out Final Fantasy. Well, because they've already done, they've done Final Fantasy. I don't, I don't think Star Wars fits in it. Mm-hmm. And it's going to be weird. Avengers is iffy. Like That's a maybe. whole other world. Like, yeah. It's a whole other universe. You can't fit. Well, just like Disney. Just yeah. Disney and Final Fantasy. There's two different universes. They you know, I would, I would say yeah, the same but, thing, but like, but that's if different. you look at like Mario Odyssey, they have so yeah, many okay. different stuff that's not even in the same... Yeah. It's like so different than what Mario actually is. I need to get that. And somehow it works. Do have, like, you have so, that game? No. No. no I, 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 I was going to buy it when I finished Zelda, but I'm, I'm, I'm sleeping on Zelda right now. Uh, I played it and I thought, I, thought, I, thought, I thought it was amazing for what now I Now you have all the Disney characters. Now you're going to add the shitload of Marvel characters. Well, they'll probably just do like a Marvel world. Like just one new world. Yeah, they'll Marvel probably characters. pick like... Captain America. Yeah, but okay, okay. Yeah. Oh, they'll probably do the Avengers. And then also, okay, so if you have a Marvel world, what the fuck do you need? What's his name? And coming in here saving shit. If you have a Marvel, a Marvel world because full of superheroes. Well, just, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> because Thanos came, came and, 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 and entrapped and everyone, and your only hope is Sora, Goofy, and Donald. Fuck <laughs> you. <laughs> oh, shit. If your only hope is Sora, Goofy, and Donald, you're fucked. Sora so, is so one of the best main characters. Yeah, no, Sora is pretty awesome though. I have, I, I, I gotta, I gotta replay through the first two, cause like I, I, I played them so long ago that I don't uh-huh. really remember. Like, and then like I've been trying to, cause, cause Jasmine's been wanting to play them, but she just stays on the island, like the, you know, the first island. <laughs> yeah. She just wants yeah. to stay on the island. She never gets sw- off the island with Riku. Yeah, she just wants to <laughs> swim in the water. That's all she wants to do: is swim in the water and then she climb the tree. That's all she ever does. I'm like, alright, well, that's what she wants to do, that's what she wants to do, but it's like, I want to play the fucking game! <laughs> <laughs> like, today we were playing, uh, she wanted to play, cause she's been playing Mario Bros. with me, uh, the, on the Wii U, the Super Mario World one, yeah. and we went, and she's, she's getting better at it, she's still, like, she doesn't jump, like, she'll jump over certain enemies, but a lot of times she'll just run right into them directly, like, but at least she follows me, now. like, you know? Before she, was, but she always like she always like I just want to go to this area. She just wants to go to the ice world. She wants to be in the ice world. That's it. Uh-huh. And like, no, you know. Uh, so in and on that one, she just wants to go on the island. She just wants to climb trees and swim. That's it. That's all she wants to do. And we were playing Mario Kart before we left. 
Uh-huh. <coughs> and we were playing. I didn't, I didn't want to put a race because, but we were playing the battle <coughs> mode. And she just drives into the water. And she just wants to be in the water. And then she says, come find me. I'm like, that's not the point of this game. God damn it. Come find me. <laughs> I, uh... <laughs> um, so yeah, that's the Kingdom Hearts. And it's getting harder to play with her now because she gets, she knows when she's actually playing the game now. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah can't just give her she a can't just give her a dead controller, yeah. <coughs> well, was it? Like last week when we were playing Game Beast, you are giving it, she was kind of catching on. She like, was like, no. Was like, yeah. No, no, she'll know. No, because what, what, that, that's the thing that's what she'll do is that she'll watch the character move and she lets go of her controller. Uh-huh. She's like, why is it still moving? I'm not moving it. <laughs> I'm like, God oh, damn it. <laughs> <laughs> She's, uh, she's a sweet Yeah. <coughs> I remember Mon when he was little. He, would never, he, 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 never, barely, he never figured it out. He, he barely figured it out two years ago. <laughs> <laughs> oh, um, That's just <laughs> freaking Mon. Damn, was that the only bit of game? I had more video game news. What the hell happened to it? I know I had more video game news. Uh, there was something else. There was something else big that went down. And I can't think of what now. Shit. I know there's... Uh, they released some more screenshots for uh, Cyberpunk. And it looks intriguing. Red Dead Redemption might do a battle royale like uh, PUBG and Fortnite. Yeah! That's the other thing, yeah. Like what? You know, for, remember Fortnite? Yeah. Red uh, Red Dead Redemption Two might be putting their hand in the pot. Yeah, for a for a battle royale style. What is battle royale style? Is battle no, royale like... style is a hundred players dropped in the same map. Free for all. Free for all. You have to find your own weapons, ammunition, all that stuff. Sometimes armor. I think that would fit well in that universe too. I think so. Yeah, you know, just. I don't know about of... dropping in. No, yeah, dropping maybe, in. Maybe no, just spawning them. Yeah. <laughs> Fucking plain over <laughs> one tarnation. <laughs> um, yeah, I think I think it would fit the world though. You know what I mean? Uh-huh. And I think they could do it. They could because like because well, I guess PUBG is kind of is is a gritty version, but not like it's still kind of cartoony. Yeah. What does PUBG stand for? Player, Player unknowns under, under, battlegrounds. Yeah. Why does it have so many names? Because it, player un, cause it started as a a mod on. A game called Arma Three, I think. Yeah. And the person who makes it, his gamer, t- his uh, his tag is Player Unknown. Uh huh. So he started using Player Unknown's battlegrounds, and it just kind of stuck. And then they called it PUBG for yeah. short because uh-huh. it's such a long fucking name. Yeah. <laughs> um. Right now, Xbox is because have you heard about how it's been running on Xbox? Uh, I haven't, I haven't heard about it since uh, since it first came out. I don't remember first came out it was running below 30 fps yeah shit well like you, you'd be you'd be running as shit is loading around you uh-huh. and like there was uh there was one video i was watching is like a, a dude starts running and all of a sudden his character just stops but he's still like the he's running running, he's running into a fucking wall but yeah and all of a sudden the wall just spawns right in front of him on what on the on PUBG. Uh, PUBG on xbox though, on because... xbox though yeah um i know i know they've gotten some the game is so detailed that like putting it on xbox is like yeah, they had, they had to throttle it back. Um, <laughs> that one was that one started as a PC game. Yeah, yeah. and when did they put it on? Uh, it just uh, recently. past December. Yeah, and then uh, so right now Xbox is like I guess because they finally I guess they've gotten it fixed or put, it they split it up. But uh, so Xbox is promoting right now. It's an Xbox One with PUBG like a PUBG edition Xbox. Supposedly Microsoft is going to try and buy them. Really? Put, uh, player known battlegrounds. I believe it. And uh, and EA. Really? I didn't hear about the EA. Because EA is like kind of in the shitter right now. Yeah. I saw an article about EA. I forgot what it said. That they're a turd of a company. That was the headline. So I didn't really oh, yeah. No, they're, no, they they're, are. They're the, uh, they're the fourth most hated company in the world. What are the top other three? I have no idea. I didn't even bother. All right. I'm going to Google I'm going to Google this shit. It's probably because EA is an electronic company. It's probably something people like... Who, uh, I'm people assuming who, they're talking about like companies in general. So no. they probably got like Apple. Well, it's... it's fucking Comcast. They're all... <laughs> They're all companies that have to do with people who go on forums and go on shit and yeah. vote, and so it's all like tech people. Gotcha. Weinstein's <laughs> number twenty. 
Weinstein? Yeah. Oh. United Airlines is number 19. Facebook is 18. Yeah, I think EA is like 3 or 4. Cent- CenturyLink. I don't know how Facebook Oh, CenturyLink. Yeah. But, and fucking everybody uses it. Monsanto is 16. I know. Right? Everybody. Well, because everybody hates Facebook, but everybody fucking uses it. And everyone's addicted to fucking Facebook. Why did, I don't know how you get. Like, why do you gotta hate something you're using? Why is Uber hated? Because the owner is a piece of shit. Oh, yeah, I forgot about that shit. The Trump or- Trump organization is 12. What the hell? How do you get more hated than Wells Fargo? Okay. Yeah. <clears throat> Cigna. Cigna. All right. Spirit Airlines. Okay. Uh, yeah, I guess Spirit Media. Airlines is pretty bad. Sprint is number seven. Sprint is number seven? Shit. They take care of me. Foxconn Technology Group. Uh, EA is number five on the list. God, EA is hated more than Trump. <laughs> I believe it. Phoenix, University of Phoenix is number four. Why? Uh, yeah, let's see here. As well as uh, the negative perceptions of the University of Phoenix, maybe one factor, I guess. Why? Because it's a party school. Yeah, I guess. <laughs> it's a party school. Isn't it like one of those? Uh... The NFL is number three. Isn't it like one of those UEI? Yeah, it's like UEI. It's one of those like I don't like know. like Westwood or you uh, know or what was it? What was the other one? It went uh, Everest. It was yeah. Yeah. How the hell do people hate the NFL, but the fucking Super Bowl gets how many? How many? 50 million, yeah, it breaks records every year. Fifty million. Yeah, yeah like but that. you guys hate fucking NFL. Okay, fuck you. With Equifax is the, is the number one. Equifax. Yeah, the fucking credit that's check like, people. Oh really? That's weird. That was a weird list. That was a weird list. Um, dude, you see this picture right here? That's an action figure head. Is that of uh, T'Challa? Yeah. That's real. Yeah. yeah that shit looks hair. That shit looks it's real. A, it's a two hundred and sixty dollar action figure. That shit looks fucking real. Look at that shit. Hmm? That shit looks. I real. paid two hundred sixty dollars for my toy. I want it to look like that. Yeah. That shit looks really real. Look at the Why fucking hair. Because they make a Because it would be way more than two hundred sixty dollars. <laughs> And then you add like a working asshole. <laughs> have a sex panther. Sex, 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 sex. That's the name of the episode. <laughs> sex, sex panther. In theaters now. I can't wait to see that shit, man. It's got fucking. It's been getting great reviews. I'm pretty hyped about it. Is that right? The fifteenth, I believe. Uh, right? Thursday. That's Thursday. Yeah. So. That's a mystery. I'm looking forward to it. Um. Shit, I had the game thing on the tip of my tongue, and I forgot it again. It only got great views because it's a black superhero. Apparently, there's only like two white actors in the whole fucking movie. That's why it got great reviews because the whole it's reverse racism. <laughs> yeah. well, since we're talking if you talk about talk shit about it, you're racist. Yeah, yeah. So you gotta rate it good. Got, just yeah. like Wonder Woman. What you don't like it because it's just like a Wonder bunch Woman. of black people. Is allegedly the highest rated superhero movie on Rotten Tomatoes. Super like, movie? I thought it was just the DC movie, just the highest rated. No, I think superhero. I mean, period. I don't know. Think... But they, but they like fucked with their algorithm to make it. So. Really? Yeah. Huh. See, I don't like Rotten Tomatoes. It's though. those PC type movements where like we need, uh, eth- we need uh, women and eth- 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 ethnic, ethnic. It's ethnic. fucking what's that? What's that? Uh, affirmative action. In movies, yeah. Um, I don't like Rotten Tomatoes though, because I feel like Rotten Tomatoes is like Which there's I a bunch mean, of assholes going there. Like, I like, I like the step towards diversity, mm-hmm. but don't, don't, don't shove it down our throats. Or do, yeah, and don't, uh, mm-hmm. and don't hate on something. Like yeah, you can't say oh it's racist if don't, you don't like it. Me, yeah, don't diminish something oh. or give merit to something just simply so, because yeah. it's that. Yeah, do it for its actual like substance of the. Product. Yeah, well, I mean, a lot of the, like a lot of the reviews I've been reading, like I've been actually reading, they're not. They're actually they're in depth <coughs> reviews. It's not just oh like, it's, it's, it's full of diverse. <coughs> no, it's just, it's, they could do a bunch of in depth reviews just to be full. Fucking yeah, I guess. Shit. A lot of people do that. I, guess, I have to I have to read uh what is, was it inverse like that I told you. I think so it was what? inverse, the the one that was like uh, they were shitting all over a Suicide Squad for being racist. Like oh. it was like like they were just going out of the way to find everything like why because Will Ferrell was a delinquent person. 
on Wolf's on uh, Suicide Squad. Well, no, uh, yeah, Suicide Squad was because the uh, Killer Croc. Uh-huh. Uh huh. Oh, he, he liked BET because he wanted BET in his cell. That's racist. Like he's black. Mm-hmm. He wants black entertainment television in his fucking cell. Like why the fuck not? You Did know. People still watch BET. I don't know if anybody still watches BET. It's mostly white people who watch BET. Right? What do they show on BET? They don't show anything anymore. I have no idea. They show, like, Moesha and shit like that. <laughs> Moesha? Moesha. <laughs> Fucking Moesha. I remember Moesha. Oh, that was... Oh, a fucking Old Spice's crew. <laughs> uh, you know how Dungeons & Dragons... We need to start... I want to play Dungeons & Dragons. I don't play them in years. You don't play Dungeons & Dragons, Gabriel? No. I'm done. We're supposed to be LARPing. Michael's not done. Yeah, playing? we're supposed to be LARPing, but not, I don't think that's ever going to happen. So let's just I still want to do it, but yeah. <laughs> I'm down for fucking Dungeons and Dragons. But okay, you know how there's different classes? Like there's you yeah. know, a hunter, a fucking a thief, a fucking a, ra- a, a rogue mage. Blah, yeah, blah. Have you ever uh, watched Critical Role? Yeah, oh, you showed it to me. I showed yeah. it to yeah, yeah. It's a bunch of voice actors. Yeah, yeah. So fucking cool. That shit's fucking awesome. Um... And it, it, like, watching that, like, I, I, it just makes me want to play more. The only thing is, like, you got to set aside, like, either, like, we, maybe we might, uh, maybe do once a month. Because mm-hmm. we're already doing the show once a week. Yeah. And we barely squeeze this in now. Yeah. <laughs> fucking once a month we can do a fucking, I'm sure we can, I'm sure we can eventually talk him into it. Mm-hmm. Um, but Old Spice, you know how, like, their fucking advertising has been kind of, just, they're all over the place and kind of weird now? Uh-huh. Well, they re- released an unofficial Dungeons and Dragons class. Uh-huh. It, it's a playoff of a bard. It's called the Gentleman class. Uh-huh. <laughs> and, uh, gentleman class has all the characteristics, characteristics and benefits that one would expect coming from an Old Spice inspired character. Uh, it has intelligent animal companionship to being able to heal his uh, uh, his party with the power of his scent. Scent. Yeah. Nice. <laughs> uh, it's a, it's a fantastic. I'm down to be this gentleman, class. right? I think it would be perfect for the gentleman class. <laughs> It'd just be awesome. Let me see I here. Can wear a top hat, a monocle. That would be awesome. I think the last time I played, oh, the first time, I walk around with a cane for no reason. Just no, no reason at all. Uh, the first time I played D and D, I didn't know much about it. Like I knew what it was I knew it was a role playing game I knew like you picked your character based on and I picked a I think I picked, I picked a barbarian and I didn't enjoy it as much as I could have just because like like you gotta kind of pick a character depending on like I think Michael might have enjoyed playing a, like a barbarian type character where you just roll to do damage you know yeah. what I mean <clears throat> there's no there's not much character interaction there's not much yeah know. it's not <clears throat> from what it seems like what are you talking about you don't D&D it doesn't take too much thought into like yeah yeah this is a big dumb it's more of like a straightforward yeah um I had this I'll see if I can still find it yeah bud you wanna be a barbarian bud you wanna be a barbarian you know you do go around chop people in half no I'm like a battle mage bro (laughs) (laughs) I can see you pulling that off too (laughs) no but he was saying that there's a gentleman class that Old Spice made and like they they what is it? They have, they have high persuasion with animals or some shit? Yeah, it's intelligent animals. And they can heal people with their scent. With the, with the, yeah. <laughs> Smell me, brother. So I said, I'm down to be the gentleman. Class. There's a... I, I have this list. It's just a bunch of random shit. I, 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 the only reason I remembered I happened to have this, because I, I was going through some old pictures that I had on my phone, uh-huh. and I remember saving this one, and it just happens to fit with this. It's just random, hilarious moments that have happened in general games. Uh-huh. Like people are just telling the most the funniest shit that's ever happened to him during a game. Uh, so this this is just one. Is I cut the dick off a bandit and put it on a crossbow and fired it at, fired it at their leader to send a message. I rolled high and ended up firing it down his throat during his monologue. <laughs> BM gave him choking damage each round. Uh, he failed the strength check to remove it. <laughs> he shot a, a dick down somebody's throat with a crossbow, and the guys. <laughs> Has to roll <laughs> to pull it out, and every time he does it, he's taking damage. I thought that shit was hilarious. <coughs> <laughs> I was want to see. Uh, 
Is that what we're going to do to the show? Is read these fucking things? No, there, I'm just, there's a couple funny ones that I just want to... Just read some you read some fucking, Just some examples. I got some Garfield fucking funnies in the newspaper. <laughs> <laughs> if you want to read those after. I'm trying... I'm trying <laughs> shut up. <laughs> there was one... I'm trying, I'm trying to find it. There was just one. Just, <laughs> just, I hate Please, you. Please, let's just read Garfield fucking comics. For the, <laughs> <laughs> the next episode... I hate Mondays. Bring me lasagna. <laughs> What's the other one? Dilbert? <laughs> Dilbert. There was one. I can't remember. It was something about like, it, it was a, it was an orc, an orc warrior that he just, uh, for whatever reason, he just maxed out his charisma and like, like all his stats went to charisma <laughs> and nothing, I, I think it was uh, and nothing else. So it was just like uh, roll, roll for stealth. And like you would, you would like if, if even if you failed, like you know, okay, convince like you would convince people <laughs> you don't see me. <laughs> They're like, okay. <laughs> this is a giant orc, which is just super charismatic. <laughs> hey, bud, you don't see me, all right? All right. If anybody is asking about me, he never saw. He me. never saw me. <laughs> You'd be able to well, fucking. He's yeah. very charismatic, so I don't think I see him right now. It's hard to, it's hard hard to look at him. I have so no reason to go against that guy. I can't look him in the eye. He's just so charismatic. Right? <laughs> so, you guys know uh, when Natalie Portman left the Marvel Cinematic Universe, she left because she wanted to be in some more serious roles? Uh-huh. Well, now she's saying, oh, you know what? I think I could probably come back to the Marvel Cinematic Universe. What was her serious role that she went into? V for Vendetta. <laughs> that was before. Yeah. <laughs> was, was, maybe it was Black Swan. No, was it was Black, Black Swan, Swan before or after? Uh, I think it was right after. I don't that. understand why you couldn't do both. Well, I they think they weren't even making. I think Star, were they making Star Wars? No, they no she was already way done with Star Wars. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like there wasn't even any. I think Star Wars I think she didn't want to get pigeonholed into like. Yeah, because like. To nerd. Because movie. like stuff like like that like if you look at she's doing a nerd movie right now. It's about to come out. What's what she doing? I don't know. It's not. It's like just like a sci-fi. Type oh movie. yeah, yeah, yeah. It looks good. Uh, I forgot what it's called. It looks pretty good. I want to see it. But she's like be. a scientist or some shit. She's going into. She goes into like another. It's like an alternate dimension or some shit. Oh uh, okay, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, it looks pretty good. Yeah. Well, I, 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 I like her. I like her, but I, I just saw. I just she, saw the. She the... annoys me with her, with the things she says. <laughs> I just saw. I just saw that she, she wants to come back. Up. She would be cool. Like in public, like in her public persona, or you mean in movies? <laughs> in her public persona. Oh, I was like, she just shut up in movies. Was like, she? Was she mean, Padme? She was Padme. She was Padme. Yeah. And Kara Knightley was her uh, bodyguard. Was she? Yeah. <laughs> what happened to Kara Knightley? Uh, after the pirates movies, she kind of just fell off. Yeah. She did that King Arthur movie, I think. Is after she, that? She's not in pirates anymore. Huh? No, she wasn't. Was she no, died? she was. She's in the last one. She was in a King Arthur movie. She was, she in, the was in, in the last. King no, not in the last one. She was in the last. In the, at the end, like after in the after credit scene. So is she gonna be in oh, the next she? one? Yeah. If there is so a implying that yeah, she's gonna a, be in the next. I don't know. Because that's the I think thing Johnny's is like, gotta do another one. Cause... Is uh is Orlando Bloom gonna come back? I don't know. Well, because he's in it I, as well. I huh? He's in the last one as well. I yeah. lost track of all those stupid movies. But see, because the last one after the third one, I was like, hey, yeah, after the third one, I was, with, like, uh, was it Dead, Dead Man's Chest? Yeah, I don't need any more of this. This is plenty. Yeah, I could just go back and watch the other one. I I liked the last one. The third one, I was like... I like the villain of the last one. The third one I forgot. was crazy I, 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 as fuck. I, I where there was, was like... The, fucking, they were fighting in that fucking wheel that was yeah. fucking rolling off cliffs and shit. Yeah, that was and cool. There and there was so much cool shit. And <clears> I, was <throat> like, I was like, what? I was like, what better are you going to do? Yeah. I don't understand where you're going to go from here. That was amazing. There's, yeah. there's no more grand that you could do. And then, like, I was, I think on the newer one, is where they're dragging, like, an entire building through fucking, yeah. with horses, and I'm like, I can't. I yeah, that's the last one. I just can't. <laughs> <laughs> the, yeah, the last one, the, well, the, yeah, they, they're dragging, because they're trying to steal the safe, but it ends up taking the whole building. Yeah, because the safe's Cause stupid. Safe's, that's yeah. stupid as shit. Yeah. <clears throat> um, like dumb. the other shit is ridiculous but it was still you like you it wasn't movie? like this no, is fucking not. stupid you know yeah. it was like whoa this is pretty crazy yeah I like now the... it's getting like yeah, that's fucking I like ridiculous. the villain of the last one all the ones uh, after... like the boat that eats boats I'm like come on dude a boat that eats boats it didn't really eat boats but it just well it kind of did but like, it, it ate it just... boats yeah yeah I guess it did and then yeah like, like all the parts come out and float and then they go yeah You're it's right. like come on who thought of that that's not that cool 
I like what I liked about the last one though. <laughs> I mean, it's cool to see once. <laughs> <laughs> what I like, like, I don't need to see that. Like, yeah. I'm cool. I watched the first. I'll stick with the first three. The last one was kind of cool with the villains. Anyway, I just was didn't that, get it. Like, they were what kind else? of, they were kind of like the cursed crew from the Black Pearl, where like they were undead, but they were like they were worse off because it's like the new one. Yeah, the new yeah, one. Yeah, yeah. Where, like, if you have to, if, if this dude had his head chopped off, his head stayed chopped the fuck off, and, like, he just uh-huh. walked around with no head. And, like, like, and, like, they all, I, like, they were all, they all moved like they were underwater. Like, the, the villain's hair was always flowing behind him like he was underwater. The boat was all fucking fucked up and damaged. And the zombie sharks, that was fucking cool. Which one are you talking about? The last one. Oh. They had zombie sharks. I liked them. And I like I didn't like the forced romance thing. I mean, I didn't pay attention. I didn't watch it all. I couldn't get through it. And there was something else I didn't like about I it. I really couldn't get through it. I tried. I felt like they forced too much into it. Like, they were trying to, like, like, hey, remember all this? Like, remember I mean, the yeah, things you liked the about it? The, the, last, the last one before the one that came out last year was, like, what was it? 20, whatever. Uh, yeah. The last one. The Blackbeard one. It was, like, three years apart, and then that one was even more obscure. Like, no one even fucking cared about that one. Yeah, because it, no, it had no connection to the that other one. That one was rated uh, PG. Yeah. Other than, other than Johnny Depp being in it, it had no connection to the other ones. Uh-huh. Oh, it had, it had Johnny Depp and it had the fucking... Uh... Barbosa, didn't it? Oh, yeah, Barbosa. It had Johnny Depp, Barbosa, and then what was the fucking the other guy? Uh, the guy that's always oh, Gibbs. Uh-huh. Gibbs. And, oh, the, and the other two fucks. The one with the wooden eye. Yeah, it only had Johnny Depp. But no, like, and, and then, it just and had then like, this guy. And, no. Oh, no, wait, but then there was this other the guy. No. You know what? They had the whole cast there. No, but the main... Like, <laughs> out of the, char- the other main Out of the characters <laughs> you care about, like, it was, it was like Johnny Depp and Barbosa were the two main characters. Except for Kira Knightley. She was gone throughout <laughs> the entire movie until the end credits. <laughs> and the last one, you see Orlando Bloom at the very beginning of the movie and at the very end of the movie. And then Kira Knightley at the very end of the movie, too. And she, was, like, she wasn't supposed to be in it, but people were like... If Orlando Bloom's in it, how come she's not in it? And they, they were like, oh, okay, fuck. Because or- Orlando Bloom can't see her. Yeah. Well, the whole. For, the, the, for like every fucking 10 years or some yeah. shit. Like, <laughs> well, this one, the whole premise of this movie was they're ending all curses. Like, they had yeah. to destroy King fucking Triton's fucking Triton. Uh-huh. Was it? No, it, was not, it wasn't Triton. Who, who was it? Poseidon? Poseidon. I was I was confusing my Disney metaphors. Poseidon. Poseidon's uh, trident, and it would remove all curses from the world. So, like, uh, he wasn't cursed to remove stand above. all curses from the world. <laughs> that's how it works. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Remove all curses. But that's why they were like that could be the last Pirates movie, but they could also like. There's uh, just a delete button to all curses. Apparently. Um, speaking of fucking curses, Michael Bay. Is in talks to make a uh, Dragon Ball Z? Lobo movie. Lobo movie. Michael Bay should do a Dragon Ball Z movie. That would fit him. That would fit him. Just, just a bunch of random explosions. Explosions everywhere. I don't think they should ever do another Dragon Ball Z movie um, ever, though. That fucking movie. Have you seen that Dragon Ball Z movie? Yeah. It's awful. It's fucking god awful. Like, I, I'm not sure which one's worse, that or the fucking Last Airbender movie. Uh, probably less than Amber. You think so? I could tolerate the Dragon Ball movie. You know why? The, the, the I Dragon Ball can watch through the whole thing. You know it's at least comedic. Yeah. You know what these people's stupid problem is? These production companies or something? They're like, oh sorry, it's all good. they're like, oh Dragon Ball Z, uh, Airbender. This is for kids. Let's make. We got to make this a kid movie. Yeah. Yeah. And it's like, no, the people who are fans of this are not kids anymore. Yeah. yeah. They are not kids. Yeah, exactly. I mean, kids might watch it, but not even then. It's like, it's not. But really even then, like kids. Dragon Ball, they were like. Putting holes through each other with yeah. fucking yeah. beams and shit. I think it's like, like what, Teenage 14, team. right? Yeah. So, yeah, it's, it's yeah, the one that, well, the one that, that would come on wasn't bloody and shit, but when you would yeah. watch the movies, the yeah, movies were way fun. more cool because they were like brutal with blood. Did you watch the, uh, the, the last Dragon Ball Z movie? And the latest one? Yeah. I, I remember I bought Lower. I don't remember if you watched it or not. I though. haven't watched, uh, I think I watched like the trio. Uh, Actually, now in the in the current life. Dragon Ball, like pretty much they're just so strong that they just obliterate people. They don't even, they don't even like, they don't damage it's, them. It's just crazy just fucking... Yeah, like they're just so strong that there's no. It's just like either they get cauterized completely when they lose lose something, or they just die. Like they're just Ash. there's just nothing of them. <laughs> Dude, I need, oh fuck, that's what I'm gonna um, pick up this weekend. The Dragon Ball Z game. Yeah. Uh, did you cool. play it? I haven't played it, but no, I, you I play it before you buy it. Have you played it? Can. It's, it's, huh? it, I don't know. I said if you can. Yeah. I didn't really like it too much. 
Well, I, I love Guilty Gear. Mm-hmm. And, like, if it plays anything like Guilty Gear, I'm going to fucking love it. It was so. too button mashy, I felt, to me. And Guilty Gear can be that way. But I like it's it. Well, it's because like... they have auto combos, and then there's all there's uh, auto combos where you pre- just press square, and it does a combo. Oh, that's Where you press triangle. But gay. there's also, um, there's also, like, complex combos that you can do. Yeah. That do more damage and shit. Too much. I don't like button mashing. Oh, um... Yeah, I like more, like, a technical type yeah. fighting game. Mm-hmm. I don't know, I might have to check it out first, then. Um, oh, yeah, so Michael Bay might be doing a Lobo movie. I would like to see a Lobo movie. I don't know uh, if I want to see Michael Bay do a Lobo movie. I don't know about Lobo enough to be like, oh, yeah, I want to see a Lobo. Know Lobo. Lobo is fucking, he's a... Oh, yeah, I know that guy. Yeah, he's a uh, <coughs> space bounty hunter biker. And he's in the band Kiss? Yeah. Mm-hmm. He's badass. I like him a lot. He's one of, he, he's one of my favorite DC he's a, villains characters. Oh, he's a villain? No, he's a... I don't know. He's an anti-hero? He's an anti-hero, yeah. Sometimes hero, sometimes villain kind of thing. They're making a Lobo movie. Interesting. Yeah. Hmm. And then we just watched that you, fucking... I wonder, I, I wonder what's DC's deal. Maybe they're like... They, I don't know, man. They, they just are grasping at any... They're I think they are. They're just point. trying... At this point, they're just yeah, throwing whatever they can yeah. at the wall. Have like, you seen the Justice League movie yet? Yeah, yeah. I saw it. I don't care for it. They should just do like, and they should just go hipster. Just go hipster. Go full hipster. Go full hipster. Yeah. I know these. The, the, well, I Make think, hipster I'm, ass superhero movie. Did we uh, did we talk about Justice League on the show at all? Who? Have we talked about Justice League on the show? Uh, at the time, I was the only one who saw it, and and I say like it's. Kind well, of, I think we saw. I think it's I saw slightly it right better than Batman did. versus Superman, but it's not far off. To me, it was. It felt like the first Avengers movie. Like, almost identical. Like, you could watch them together. I could watch the first Avengers movie way more than I could watch this. <laughs> no, no, I said, that's why I said it's almost like. It's not quite as good. It's just like, they were like, okay, like, hey, this that worked for them. Well, let's see if it'll work for us. Mm-hmm. And they just kind of fucking DC'd the shit out of it and fucked it up. Wait, I enjoyed what Aven- uh, Justice League. They DC'd the what? They DC'd the fuck out of Avengers and made Justice League. He's saying that Justice oh, okay, League was like you. a was like they a copied DC'd version of Avengers. Yeah, they just copied. Like they Avengers. just copied Avengers. <laughs> um, kind of. Um, well, Loki like, was a better villain than oh, Loki Steppenwolf. Was, yeah, Steppenwolf was a, like well, well, one of the things that pissed me off in that movie is so fucking bad. It's like okay, Batman versus Superman is fucking doomsday. One of the like most infamous villains. It was a bad yeah. movie. I couldn't get through that either. I, I after the, the it was this I think it was in the beginning right where in the was, beginning where where Bat, Bat, where Bruce Wayne was driving that jeep mm-hmm. through like chaos oh yeah, oh, yeah. and I, I'm waiting for like the fucking qualify for two fifty a month like I'm literally <laughs> waiting for yeah because it was just a fucking yeah it was a jeep like commercial. it seemed like I swear to God it seemed like at any second there was just gonna be they could have literally you're right they could have cut that and they made it into a fucking commercial where yeah. yeah. It, it, it just it, you're waiting for the pop up that said uh, professional driver on a closed course do not attempt. But, yeah, like that's like, what? Um, yeah, I couldn't get through that. What I, I watched that and then the next couple scenes were shitty and I was like I. I didn't like, like the whole. This is a long ass movie. I'm not gonna enjoy it. I don't think. I didn't, I didn't like the whole Iraq thing. Or yeah, it was Iraq or Afghanistan. Or Lois Lane was. I don't know. It doesn't matter. <laughs> Middle East. I don't get. You gotta have. If it, you gotta have good scenes. Why yeah. do they make shitty? They don't make good scenes. They don't. No, okay. Uh, in just like, uh, have you seen Justice League? Like, like Coco. No, he hasn't. Guardians of the Galaxy two. Oh, Every I, single scene I got in Coco, that by the is way. intriguing, and like. Every single scene is entertainment. It's not yeah. like, oh, this is just set up for later. Or like, yeah, uh-huh. yeah. Same thing with like, yeah, Thor. Right. Setup could be entertaining too. Yeah. yeah. Like everything. Yeah. Like even okay, like the op- <laughs> the opening scene for Thor with him and that fucking dude. Oh, I hope that picked up. <laughs> it's, right it's, it's, right it's literally there. right next to your ass. <laughs> right on the mic. Um, <laughs> that just reminded me. Whenever, whenever I drive, I usually keep my phone like under my thigh. <laughs> One time I busted ass, and I forgot. You know what I mean? Didn't think anything of it. Then went to use my phone right after. <laughs> You can taste it. You can taste it. (laughs) That's disgusting. (laughs) 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 
right there. <laughs> like, god damn. Oh, what was I say? Oh, so Thor. That opening, that opening scene with him and the fucking the dude that he brings back for Ragnarok. Uh huh. That whole fucking scene is hilarious. And then it leads into great action, and then from there it leads into another fucking funny scene. And like they they did everything. Everything in that movie was fucking well done. I'm still I'm still arguing with myself uh, with myself over whether I like Guardians better or Thor better. I, I don't know. Guardians which... one or. Uh, no, I mean this year. Uh, Guardians 2 or Thor Ragnarok. I haven't seen Thor, but Guardians... You haven't seen Thor? Guardians 2 is amazing. I'll send it to you, I man. think I think I Guardians have a Guardians 2, 2 a is like the best. Over. Yeah. Is the best superhero. Guardians or, 2 is amazing. Yeah, that's the best Thor, superhero. Thor is really close, but I, I, yeah, I would say, really I would say Guardians close. 2 is still better. Yeah. Um, the Guardians, like, you could cry on that movie. Yeah, oh, dude, I did cry during fucking the Yandu funeral yeah, when scene. Yeah. Yeah, when oh, died. dude. When I when he died, it, I was like, "Oh fuck, that sucks." And then the funeral, like, what, 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 what? Well, actually, because like I was like, oh, it was like I felt like it was it was getting me. What actually broke me was when uh, what's his name? When Sylvester it, Stallone. No, that was Sylvester Stallone. Uh, the one that was always with, uh, Yandu. The one, it's the uh, uh-huh. director's brother. Yeah, it's the one that takes reason. the one that takes over the the arrow. I know what you're talking. When about. he when he does that scream at the end, like he was just like like you could like I don't know that just that emotion of that scene. It was just like ah. Oh. You got me. Um, oh, but but back to uh, Justice, uh, Justice League really quick. I fucking like. I hate the scene. There's there's like the the two things I hate in that is okay. They just got their ass kicked by Superman. <coughs> and Steppenwolf. Oh no, did they get? Wait, I don't remember. Did they get their asses kicked by Steppenwolf first, and they go get Superman. <laughs> Steppenwolf kicked the... first, and then got Superman. Okay, yeah. So they got just got their ass beat by them. Went back to Su- to it's Superman just kind of randomly. <coughs> It's like, oh, <coughs> yeah. Oh, I'm sorry, guys. I yeah, didn't mean to beat I, you I didn't guys. Mean to do that it shit. was like a Pulp Fiction fucking Bing Rames and Bruce Willis scene. Yeah. It was just walking across the street with donuts. <laughs> 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 that would have been bad. Fucking <laughs> Batman just driving down. There's two red. Please. <laughs> No, that would that would that would be a way better scene. He tries to crash into the no, they... super. <laughs> Oh, no, sure. all it is. Raped by a gimp. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that would be ten times better than whatever the fuck that the fucking yeah. scene was. Bring out they... the gimp, and then it's fucking Bane. <laughs> <laughs> the fire rises. Yeah, all oh, they did was they they revived him from the dead, and then Superman, and then he was going crazy because he didn't remember. Anything. His last memory was of Batman trying to kill him. Uh-huh. So, they, they, so he's did, basically, so basically, he's, Superman. How did how did he die? Uh, he died fighting Doomsday. Yeah, he died uh, fighting. He to kill Doomsday. He took him into outer space or some shit, right? Yeah, I forgot. I, he did some. Like that. They, he they, sacrificed they, himself they to a, kill Doomsday. They exploded yeah. up in space, and um, uh, so they revived him, and he basically was going berserk and fighting Batman, Wonder Woman, and Aquaman, and the Flash. And he just beat the shit out of all. He of them. just beat the shit out of all of them, and then like before he was about to kill one of them. He just like suddenly remembered everything. Doesn't he? Like, doesn't he? Like, <laughs> like such a cliche scene. Yeah, well, he. Oh no! Lois Lane comes right. And oh yeah. Like, Stop! Oh yeah. Because <laughs> no, no. Remember, because Bruce, he fucking he uh he fucking punches Batman into the fucking cop car, which yeah. should have killed him. Uh-huh. Because it's like okay, see... granted he's in his bad suit, but still, like he gets punched into a goddamn car, and the car just folds around him. Yeah. Like <laughs> the DC movies, I feel have like same storyline as the Mortal Kombat movies like you might as well just like you're better off, you're, almost, you're, you're almost better off just picking one of those storylines from one of the Mortal Kombat uh-huh. fucking games, games yeah games and just that. plugging Bat- DC characters into it well which they've done anyway yeah they have so, <laughs> I would, you know what I think they should do an Injustice movie they've kind of hinted at they've it they've pretty much already done it they can't they can't go back and they've hinted at it but they haven't they, they could they could what well, they could split the universe, and that would get rid of all these shitty movies, and they might be able to do better in the that. universe. No, because what they're going to do is they're going to go. They're going to have the Flashpoint movie. If they had a, a Mortal just Kombat, gonna, yeah, three fifty two everything. Justice League. Uh, that would be fucking cool. I would like to. I would like to see it. Like the yeah, that would be awesome. What was that game called? It was just uh, DC I, version. It would probably MK, be stupid uh, yeah. as fuck, but I would still. I would still watch, watch that. Yeah, I'd watch that better than any other. Um. What the fuck what was it saying? Oh. So, but no, it was, he kind of remember he called sounds... Alfred, bring in the big guns, and fucking, the fucking limo pulls up, and it's fucking Lois Lane gets out, and he's like, Superman goes, oh, mm. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> like literally, that's how it happens, right? He just looks at me, mm. 
Oh. <laughs> like, that's not what happens. But, uh, uh, so, okay, so right after that, they're in the bat cave and they're all fucking hanging out. Mm-hmm. It was like, it, I get what they were trying to do. It was like a bonding what, scene between the characters. What would you do if you were DC, bro? <sighs> Fuck. If they're in a tough position. I don't know, man. Because you got, you had Batman, you had the whole Dark Knight series, which was amazing. See, I think. And that's it. Flashpoint, like, either they do an Injustice movie or, like, Flashpoint has to be amazing. And yeah. they have to just turn it around. That's it. Flashpoint is their chance. What's Flashpoint? Flashpoint. Flashpoint is where the Flash yeah. kind of he. He goes, goes back in time to save his mother. Yeah, I don't think that's gonna do it. And what that does? Well, <laughs> no, no, well, that no, no, does. No, 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 no. And when he does that, it changes. It changes. It, al- it alternates the the future. To, in, in the, to the point where like Batman. See, I, but, Batman I, is actually uh, Bruce Wayne's dad. It's Thomas Wayne. Bruce Wayne yeah. died in the alley, and then his mom's the Joker. I don't like when they do a whole like thing like that. The Flashpoint, I don't no, know. The Flashpoint was good. No, though. but so what well, people are saying they're not gonna, they're probably not going to do that, but they're going to use that as a way to well, take Ben to. Affleck out as, ba- uh, as yeah. to take ben, ben Affleck out completely and not have him as Batman, have yeah. someone else as Batman, and it'll um, change up some of the. But oh, but why do you have to do that? Why can't you just do that? Because comic comic book fans are fucking okay. fickle as shit, they're, they're and they're like, a bitch anyway. Yeah, they are, you but ha- you should just do. It's what's less best. of a it's less of a cop out than it is it's fucking. A, it is a cop. It, no, I it's hate, not because I hate those things where like the whole. Uh, but no, this is an actual like, storyline that's already happened in the comic book. Yeah, I know. So but they're this using is, this as a fucking jumping. Yeah, card. but this is like, this is the, it's just the like, shit that they need. Like they they like oh there's a hole here. We gotta explain this hole. No, you don't. You don't have to explain holes. It's the universe. Yeah. That's it. That's the universe. You don't have to explain holes in your fucking storyline. Did you ever, did you ever you see that? A, did you ever leave see a that? little mystery. <laughs> leave a little bit like, oh, why is that? Let let everybody theorize why that hole's there. Well, usually, whenever... <laughs> like, don't whenever, fucking explain the whole... I hate when they explain holes in, like, plot whenever, whenever there's fan theories about shit, <laughs> it usually makes everything better. Like, have you have you heard yeah, the fan theories in the room? It leaves more conversation. No. Dude, there's fan theories that, okay... That uh, uh, God, why am I can't why can't I remember his name right now? Fucking the friend, the one that she's cheating with, Mark. Mark. That Mark's actually an oh, undercover cop, and he has a whole backstory as an undercover cop. It, it's like it's weird. Is it like Denny has his own back? Like there's all these backstories that make it's all to find different. out. Where does Johnny get all his money? Well, Johnny's actually an alien from another planet, <laughs> and he's here to just. He's to, a vampire. Oh yeah, he's supposed to be in the, yeah, but in the in the thing he's supposed to be he's supposed to be a, an alien and he's living. That, that's why he's so weird because he's here trying to figure out what life is like on on Earth. And it's, yeah, it's fucked up, but it's funny. Um, See, why don't they do? Like, well, yeah, fan fan base like plot, like when they fill in their own plot holes, it's like apologizing it's usually better. for you know when you do one of those public apologies. Yeah, like don't. Apologize. I can see what you're saying. Don't uh, apologize. Th- Just you made an art. Why? Why do you have to apologize and ca- and explain some? Because I mean, te- they're, they're technically they're they're making it for fans, and the fans aren't happy. Um, yeah, but you don't make anything for fans. You just make it for the sake of the art. And- yeah. You know, whoever likes it's gonna like it. Did you ever see that? When it was you make a shit for the fans. That's when they. That's when you start to suck. When yeah. artists start making shit for the fans, that's when they. Yes. Yeah. Suck. But did did you ever see that but episode of? I feel uh, like they should do, like a Dark Knight. Just stick with why? Why don't you stick with the whole Dark Knight style instead of like I don't know why? But that, well, that's what they're trying to do. But it's but they're like, not. It doesn't seem like it, it. Well, no. Well, that's what they try. I feel like okay, if you're gonna do Flash, right? Just make him a, a little bit faster than everybody. <laughs> <laughs> well, look at that guy. He's really fucking fast. <laughs> <laughs> like you could just run a mile in about a, in about like, two in a in a, in a, in a, minute. In a minute and a half. Yeah, a minute and a half. <laughs> ninety second mile. Whoa, that guy's a ninety second ninety second mile. <laughs> isn't that that wasn't that that Prefontaine movie? <laughs> um, yeah, but no, but they 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 they. I feel like all their superheroes are too far out there. They're way too far out. They have to rain. All them superheroes in. are way far out far out there. They gotta rain them in. But look, I mean, but look at what Marvel's doing. Marvel's not running Marvel's anybody cool. the fuck in. Marvel's better is because they're bringing in like space and fucking like universes and shit. And that kind of helps. Mar- yeah, but like a lot, of, like, a lot of Marvel superheroes have like drawbacks to them too. I feel like 
Like a lot of like like even Tony Stark, like he's a he's a drunk, yeah, alcoholic fucking like playboy. Yeah, yeah. So like, <laughs> like they're yeah, you're right, you're right. Well, I yeah, mean, they, really, yeah, like Bruce Wayne isn't really like that. He's more yeah. like calm, collected. Well, see, Bruce Wayne has that whole like I like, think the he's Lego. Almost, ba- he's almost he's pretty much perfect. Yeah. Like, well, he's fucked up mentally. Where like he, that's why he, he can't be around people. That's well, why. I mean, like as a superhero, he's pretty much. Perfect. Oh yeah, as a superhero, is pretty much perfect. He always like has... that that mental uh, absence or whatever. It has nothing to do with him fighting crime. Right? No, yeah, yeah, it's yeah, more yeah exactly. Of his personal life. Yeah, but yeah, you're right. Um, but have you ever seen that episode of The Simpsons? It was a Tree House of, Ter- uh, of Terror Tree episode. Horse? Tree House of Terror episode when Xena uh, gets kidnapped. Mm-hmm. She's at a, like she's at a, 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 a comic convention asking questions. And like one one of the one of the comic book nerds gets up and he's like in, in episode uh, thirty seven B you were riding a winged stallion in this and then but in the very next scene you're riding a winged pampaloose and it was and she was like whenever you notice something like that it was a wizard <laughs> <laughs> and so like the rest was like in episode so you were do- wizard wizard <laughs> wizard wizard <laughs> yeah exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Well, yeah, I mean that's what they could do, and I'm telling you that's what they could do in these movies. Wizard, um, that's some other shit. <laughs> <laughs> that's fucking awesome. <laughs> Just one giant one. Um, did you guys see the Deadpool two trailer? I did. Have you seen the Deadpool two trailer, Mike? Yeah. The Doro. The Doro. What? Have you seen the Deadpool 2 trailer? The one with, uh, it's not the one with, uh, where he's painting? No. no, no it's it's, it's uh, the one with Cable. It's called Meet Cable. No. Yeah. Basically. I don't want to see it. Sounds I don't like, like trailers, it. Sounds man. Like it. I, don't even, <sighs> I hate trailers. I don't know, this, it looks good. Yeah. The, 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 fucking, that, it looks fucking good. Yeah, like, the first movie was badass. So, like. Like, I'm I had, go okay. The second one. After watching. Did you see they're making. Bro? Yes, I thought we talked. No, we never talked about that. That was one of those stories that I and lost. They Jason Momoa. Jason Momoa. He's gonna play fucking uh, Eric Eric Craven, right? Yeah, that's it's gonna crow. be better. You, you know never seen crow? the crow? With fucking Bruce that's the one Lee's Bruce Lee's son died making. No. <sighs> yeah. We need to change that. It's he comes back movie. from the dead. Yeah, you know, his like exact revenge. He gets killed on Halloween. His girlfriend is raped, and he's thrown out of a window, mm-hmm. and like. The crow, the like the, bring them back the crow back. brings them back. It's to almost like Catwoman. Kind yeah. of, yeah. But with crows. But with crows. But with crows. Yeah, you're right. It's a, <laughs> but it's like it's like a traumatic. It's a, like, but the crow. But he's more evil, dude. Like he's uh-huh. evil. Like yeah. he's kind of. Well, he's not evil. But he's kind of like. He's very. Dark. It's a very '90s movie where it's like over the top and they're kind of like. <laughs> but it's fucking. It's good. Yeah. It's good. Um, they made sequels because the crow itself could like. It's anytime there's a traumatic death, the tro- the crows can bring back. This one per like bring that person back as the crow mm-hmm. for like the to extract their revenge and once their revenge has been through they go back and so they've made after because it was supposed to be they were gonna make him the crow and he was gonna be making he was gonna make like three or four movies uh-huh. but then he died making that movie how did he die <clears throat> he got shot on set I guess he died on the second one no no he, he died, died on the first one he died in the first one before the movie was done if you watch oh, the movie the you you can you can tell where he died making the movie yeah. because it's like. And every like at first it's like it's all close ups of him and he's there and he's doing shit and then like towards the end all the action scenes are filmed from way the fuck away. <laughs> mm-hmm. <laughs> the, that's like what they what they did with Bruce Lee in Game of Death. Yeah. Like uh, once he died, it was like he was he was halfway through the movie when he died. Uh, and it was it's, supposed to, was it supposed to be like a blank or whatever and there was live ammunition. Yep. And they killed him. Yep. He got shot in the chest and died. Um, yeah, it's very fishy. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, it was, it's, it's one of those unsolved Hollywood mysteries. Mm-hmm. There's conspiracies, though, that I heard. You know, there's conspiracies about Bob Marley getting cancer. Yeah. From some guy sent from uh, some boots in the mail. And when he put the boots on, it had the fucking, like, this little spike in there. Really? And stabbed him. And that's how he got cancer? He got cancer from that fucking... He had, like, foot cancer or some shit. Is that, how, is that what he died of? Foot cancer? Yeah. Um, oh. Some sort of foot cancer. But the Deadpool two director is. Did they do all three of the? Did they end up doing all three of the Crow movies, or was they did? Two? It's no, I think they did four. Let they me see. Four? I think they did. Let me check. Um, because I know there's there's. And only the first two were watchable, right? Yeah. <laughs> no, if City of Angels, like the second one is is rough. 
Yeah, the, the third one's rough. Yeah. The, the first whoa. one's rough, but it's good. It's like good. It's like one of those culty movies, though. Where, like, if you don't get it, you're not going to yeah. enjoy it. So, there's a... Oh, shit. There's a shit ton of them. So, there's a crow. There's a crow city of angels. The crow stairway to heaven. The crow salvation. And the crow wicked prayer. So, five? Yeah. When did the last one come out? 2005. Why does it look like Joker right there? Which one? It kind of looks like Joker. Because they're trying... It's right the fuck... Oh. It looks like fucking Heath Ledger. Right? Yeah, it's, it's just... <laughs> <laughs> that one? Yeah, it does. <laughs> 2005. So the first one came out in 94. 96 was I wonder a sequel. If Ledger got inspiration from the Joker. He might have. the Joker a little more like that. Spe- oh, speaking of the Joker, Joaquin Phoenix is in talk to play the Joker in a standalone. Joaquin? Yeah. I don't know how I feel about him. Yeah. Oh, he's good. He's a great actor. He's good. Yeah. I could see. You know, I did. I did see something about that earlier, and they're all like, "This might be so crazy that it's good." Yeah, yeah. Like, <laughs> but see, Jared Leto's a great fucking actor too, and he did a shitty Jack. Well, yeah. no, I take it back. I liked. I liked him as a Joker. I liked the way he played it. He just kind of did what he did with what they gave him. With the same, with the same like, thing with uh, like who was it? Uh, who'd you say? Joaquin, Joaquin Phoenix. Phoenix. Yeah, he's kind of he's kind of so out there that he might take some liberties that, that'll, that'll yeah he's a great actor he's so great yeah he's better than Jared <laughs> have you seen those fucking uh, there that was a bunch of memes going around cause... I, don't, I never really watched Jared Leto movies yeah Joaquin Phoenix is tremendous yeah no he's great he's, yeah. he, he's on another level yeah but have you seen those memes that were going like around even, for a while? Even that fucking iPhone movie, the one where he's like in love with this fucking iPhone. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like I actually, like I could actually watch that. Yeah. No, he's some, good. Somewhat no, I interesting. Love, uh... I guess, like, it was what's, weird. What's, what's the name of that movie? I something. <laughs> what's the one where he's a rapper? I love that one. That's my favorite. There's one where he's a rapper? That's one of my favorite. Oh, that, that's, that's like, that's when he actually, he quit acting to become a rapper. Uh-huh. And it was like a fucking, it was like, it was like, a, like doc- a documentary kind of. <laughs> it was like a fake. Yeah, yeah the whole thing. Yeah, everyone thought like, what the fuck is wrong with him? Why is he doing this? Yeah. Like for a couple months, everybody thought it was real, but like it got leaked. It was just it was, for a documentary. Yeah. Like, yeah, when he first, like he quit, I'm, I'm quitting acting, becoming a rapper, I'm not going to be acting anymore. But, and like, and everyone believed him. Like, they were like, what the fuck? Like, mm-hmm. why? What the, f-? like, and like, people were just freaking the fuck out. That. I haven't seen that in a long time. That shit is funny. Um, but yeah, no, he, he's good. Um, shit, what was I going to say though? Oh, the, the, have you seen those memes? Uh, it's like a fucking... Because uh, the director was talking about Jared Leto, about how, how he became the Joker. Like, you know how he sent rats to everyone and shit? And it was like... Uh, it was like, where does the character end? And, and yeah. <laughs> he really became the Joker. He was doing weird shit. Yeah, and it was say. like... <laughs> what was it? It was like, he left crackers, or he, he, he took a handful of crackers and crumbled them and threw them on the floor. This guy's a madman. He's a like, fucking gangster. <laughs> Jared Leto. The director was talking about Jared Leto as a Joker. <laughs> it was just shit like that. It was like, he was acting a little weird. So stupid. But it was just like, where does the character end? And where does Jared Leto begin? Yeah. <laughs> He's too deep in. <laughs> Jared Leto's overrated. He went to the bathroom and he left the door open. He's a madman. <laughs> shit, like, it's just like... Yeah, I feel like you can't be that good if you got too you got too much shit on your plate. Like you're in a you're fucking in a big band and you're an actor. What band is he in? Thirty Seconds to Mars. Oh, okay, yeah. I knew it was one of those. You know, like you gotta you gotta stick like you gotta be like a Daniel Day Lewis if you're gonna be like a yeah, like a legit actor. <laughs> Where you're gonna go fucking you're gonna go fucking live as a cobbler. Yeah, for fucking a year and a half and shit, and <laughs> fucking fix shoes and shit to, for a part for some yeah. fucking he's, stupid. He's part. not a cobbler anymore. <laughs> a bunch of fucking snobby white people are gonna watch. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> have you seen the shit that people have been doing with the with the? I can watch his latest movie. I don't know, uh, Phantom Thread. Or... I haven't seen that. It said his last movie, but he's like a dressmaker, and I think his wife like abuses him. I haven't seen that. Scary. I don't know. I, I, I've seen. <laughs> yeah, like I've seen so. Lincoln, and that's about it. No, Lincoln sucks. What? Because yeah, I, uh, couldn't, like, I couldn't watch Lincoln. Um, fucking uh, no. Uh, there will be blood. Is badass. Oh, I need. I still. You know, I still have your copy of that. I need to watch yeah, it. I haven't. Yeah, yeah. I haven't watched I it. Forgot, but I forgot that I had that. Thing. You loaned it to me to watch it, and I've never watched it. I, like it's, I see it every day, and I like I don't watch that. And I go to put it on, and like something happens where I don't put it on. 
And then like I go, I'm gonna watch a movie. And like like I just scan right past it because like I already like <laughs> you know what I mean. <laughs> um, have you seen those? That this is another meme thing. I don't. It just when you said thirty seconds of Mars it reminded me about the Fallout Boy thing. It's just like random sentences. People it's like people are just putting fall, by Fallout Boy at the end of things. There was like someone. So there was like are we, pre- was it, where are we at? Uh, we got fucking like fifteen minutes. We got like five minutes. I got well, I got one more story, but it's like it was like this. It was a, a a comment war on Facebook. Someone was going back and forth, and like the dude was like, "I will pistol whip your grandma for your insolence." And someone just commented underneath it, "My Fallout Boy." This <laughs> 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 is shit like 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 weird ass fucking sentences. Like just shit like just like it just, and just my Fallout Boy at the end of it. Like uh, what was the other one? It was like oh, panic at the disco. Th- uh, uh, <laughs> Panic at the disco song titles sound like the uh, like weird novel uh, quotes. It was like by Fallout Boy, and then it was like, and then underneath that it just said by Panic at the Disco. <laughs> it, just, it just kept going back and forth. Just... <laughs> so, so, you know, have you ever seen a uh, pop star with uh, Andy Samberg? No, I have not. It's like a fake. Uh, it's a mockumentary. Uh, basically, just trying to like he's like Justin Bieber or whatever. Yeah, I haven't seen but, that. But like he was in a boy band and they split up. Yeah. But but like there was one part where he was doing like this dress, his uh, this uh, what is it, costume like a costume change trick on stage. Uh huh. But like, it's only designed for women. So like because like it would get you tangled in your balls and you couldn't do it. <laughs> so like to do it, he had to tuck everything back and has to like he it's it's all tucked back and then like if something happens we're like on stage. Uh, He's just naked in the next thing, and he's just naked, and you don't see his dick or anything. <laughs> oh, and he's and, and he gets all embarrassed, and then when they go back, he's like, "What the fuck happened?" He's like, "Relax, man. You're only up there for like 15 seconds." It's like that's like half of the way to Mars. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's, that's awesome. <laughs> um. <laughs> He's like, and he's like, that's that's only the abandoning. That's not a fact. <laughs> that's funny. Um, I got one random ass story that has nothing to do with anything we normally talk about. It just the fucking the the headline caught my attention. There's blood in After allegedly discovering blood, blood, blood in drinks. I don't know. I didn't actually read it. <laughs> uh, how do they find out that they have blood in it? That's what I'm wondering. Like, how do you find out? Like, did it taste like iron? Like, I don't know. Uh, Still, there would have to be a lot of blood in there to mask. To apparently, it had a strong metallic smell, the family claims. Uh, and they found a similar substance in a frappuccino. They could have been... Cons- they uh, had been consumed by the, by the mother and the couple's two-year-old daughter. Who gives a fucking two-year-old this fucking frappuccino? Oh, dude, it makes me throw up. Once we drank, uh, then we like, could see... Like, if it actually the- is blood, like, yeah, that's fucking disgusting. Someone put their aged blood in fucking Starbucks. <laughs> But, like, if you're just saying that yeah, you taste something metallic, like, what if that's just, like, yeah, they would have to like whatever it. whatever they make they the test? coffee with, what if they're, let's just... Did they get a sample? Yeah, like, the fucking, Did like... they test the sample? Yeah, that's the thing, it's, like, they're suing for... Because, really like, if them. you go to a water fountain, you can kind of taste the, the fucking... Yeah, pipe it could have just been something, yeah, like, something that fell in there. But it's, like, they're suing for fucking, because they found... Well, there was another lady that sued because... Uh, there was someone supposedly someone that supposedly worked at Starbucks mm-hmm. tweeted out like oh I've been putting dog shit in all the fucking frappuccino every frappuccino I make today is gonna be have dog shit cause uh, I'm pissed off at these white people and then like they were like oh this person never worked at Starbucks ever like this is a fake account it's not real you know but bloody Starbucks it's disgusting that is pretty cool I, I saw videos. I found this article the other day. It was a high school coach ignored boys' screens as teammates raped him. Oh, what the fuck? Did he ignore him or was he just like, oh, uh, yeah. That's allegedly, that's what <laughs> he just straight up ignored him. <laughs> Loud boy. <laughs> oh, God, this day and age. Back like... in Texas. And then there was, a, there's, there's, something, there's something fucking crazy. Uh, uh, it says uh, that he was... Let's see. The complaint alleges that a boy was sexually assaulted more than 30 times between October 2016 ah. and February 2017. Shit. So what's that? 30 times? Five five months? God damn. That's a lot of fucking. And then, like, the, there was even one where, like, they they said that they raped him with the threaded end of a, of a CO2 tank. Ow. Ow. Well... I 
hopefully, like, crazy the, the shit. CO2 chain's not happy. Yeah, no, but the threaded end. Yeah, the threaded end, so you got... All the fucking threads. It's not, like, a smooth not, thing. Yeah, you just you got, got fucking... shit scraping out your asshole. Yeah, but, right, the threaded end... <sighs> it's threaded. Doesn't it get wide, though? It starts threaded, and then it gets wide like a tank. Yeah, but still threaded. Yeah, okay, but, when, but once you pass that point and it's big. Well, right? no, so it, it depends on the CO two tank, but like, because like some of them are just like, like stuff you like you just screw the fucking thing on. Yeah, yeah but I'm saying like, okay, you have it threaded, right? Mm-hmm. And then it's probably only maybe like you two or three inches, right? Maybe, and then but, it has, but still, like this, this fingers the thread, and then it gets wide. Like yeah, a, like a, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. So I mean that's. So once you get the thread in, and then your asshole dilates to the outer diameter, the bigger diameter, that thread's not really going to hurt. I don't as think much. so. I don't think that's how I your asshole know. works. Yeah, I, I mean, your asshole different. maybe, but there's still shit um, that's still I, tight I around I feel it. like it would work more like, like, gonna like be barb. Good. No. It's more like barb, because it's kinda, it kind of like hangs on. Yeah. Like okay, like okay, it's like, not, like you because know it's you, not because for it to like kind of stretch over already. something, it would have to constantly be that size. It's going through the groove, so it's not gonna set no, with, but, with um, those with the. But threading. there's not that much threading. There's only like a little bit of threading on like a fucking like, CO two tank. Yeah, but still, you it's, only do a it's still turns. something that's scraping the inside of your asshole. You do a couple turns. It's more, I think. I think. Yeah, but once you that's what I'm saying. Once you get that wider part in there, you're really not much as touching the threading. I don't think that's how it works. So I think I'm it's more. Sure that's I, how it I, think, I, I think the asshole's more. I like have a, a feeling that it's a bigger, it's a bigger threaded end than we're thinking of because they're trying to rape somebody with it. Yeah. If it were just like and, that, like and why? And the other thing is, like, is like, okay, I, I'm, I'm, I'm thinking it's more like a stocking thing because it's like there's still like, like everything is it's like it's just like okay, just because this outer part is dilated, this part's still gonna be until it, you know it's gonna dilate as it gets to it. No, you know I know. I'm saying, it's gonna well, I'm saying back once up it's in, it. it's gonna be dilated to the outer diameter. But yeah, it probably but once you take it out. But he probably and uh, the other thing too is the kids probably clenching up. In one He's instance, like several teammates the, held the boy down and raped him with a flashlight. Ow. That's what the fuck. What? Why are we reading? Really, why are you reading this? I don't know. And why are we talking about this? God damn it! It's, it's not brutal. interesting. It's horrible. That's brutal. <laughs> I'm gonna have nightmares. My global hurts now. That's terrible. Dude, no yeah. people do fucked up shit. Think of that now. Like I know I'm... people do fucked up shit. Like I've heard fucked up. There's a lot of fucked up. Going, yeah. We can just pull up fucked up stories and read like a bunch of people like throwing babies at a ceiling and then letting them fall down. <laughs> yeah. I think on that note, let's go and wrap this up. <laughs> uh, don't forget to follow us on Facebook at Facebook.com. And PSVR should be separate purchases, but be considered essentially together. What? PlayStation 5 and PSVR should okay. be separate purchases, but considered essentially essential together, said the developer. Okay. <laughs> when is the PS5 coming out? If they're already talking about like... Well, they've been talking about it for like the last year, but it's not going to be coming out anytime soon. Um, but anyway, uh, follow us Facebook, The Real Press Start. It comes out uh, next year. And tweeters at Real Press Start. <laughs> <laughs> On that note, game over. No more questions. What are you talking about?